Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, another video by me. I decided to do something different this year, and instead of doing a top comic books of 2016, why not uh, my favorite toys of 2016? I'm going to start off here with uh, two of one of my favorites. It's uh, the Suicide Squad Joker and the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn by Mattel. Uh, when these were solicited, I I knew I had to get them. I'm a huge fan of uh, Joker and Harley Quinn. The movie was okay. It was fun. It's no big deal. I don't really take movies, comic book movies, that serious. So, but the toys, I think they're phenomenal. And I actually do love the look of the Joker in this film. I was excited to see this on the shelf when it first came out. The Greg Capullo Joker from Endgame. I love the uh, accessory there from the mask. That's, that's pretty sweet. And also, the armored Batman from Batman vs. Superman. That was cool. Um, I do have the Batman without the cowl on, but I'm uh, just going to show you a, just a few of my favorite stuff from 2016. Changing gears here for a moment. These are really awesome. It's the WWE Zombies line, the Dean Ambrose one. Uh, out of all of them, this one was, this one was my favorite. I kind of like the Page one as well, but uh, I opted for this Page one here, the Divas with the belt. I just thought this one was cooler. So I, I rarely see her with. I, I see her without the belt. I rarely see her with the one with the belt. Uh, the Wonder Woman from Batman vs Superman action figure was hard to find for me, but I found this one and I'm cool with just having this one. Still, uh, still pretty cool. All right, the 200 classic video games. This is awesome. I've, I've wanted this for a while. I was going to get it, but my wife was telling me to hold off because my son was going to get it to me for Christmas. But I was going to buy it anyways for myself regardless. It's brought to you by Dream Gear. Still haven't checked it out. I'm thinking about doing a video maybe for you guys. If you're interested, I'll go through all 200 games if you're willing to sit through that. But this was fantastic. I'm a huge fan of handheld games. I'm an old school gamer, so I love my handheld games. And here's another example of one I bought myself. It's the latest uh, Pac-Man uh, handheld game. Here you go, try me. The original sounds. Pretty awesome, man. Love Pac-Man, my favorite arcade game, for hands down. Actually, Miss Pac-Man is my favorite arcade game. Um, I can do a two-hour video of my Star Wars haul, because I, I bought a lot of Star Wars this year. I'm just going to show you the ones that I really uh, chased, uh, was very active and trying to locate. And uh, here is the old man, Han Solo from The Force Awakens. I just, I don't know, I was crazy about this one. I, I thought they were going to do an older version of Luke Skywalker. Maybe in Episode 8, they'll bring out that series. And another one I was actively chasing was the, uh, the maskless, uh, the helmetless... Kylo Ren. I have all the Kylo Rens. I really love this character. I know he gets a lot of slack, but I uh, I think he's awesome, man. Especially, the, I don't know, I just like the removable. Just like when the removable helmet Darth Vader came out in the 90s. I was crazy for that one, too. And my uh, Rogue One, my favorite one is the Darth Vader from Rogue One. The, with the Rogue One card. I didn't get the Force Awakens Darth Vader card. I just, uh, I when I found out that the Rogue One that the Darth Vader was going to be on a Rogue One card, I went after this. But guys, I got a bunch of Star Wars action figures this year. Like I said, if I was going to show them all, that video would, itself would be like over an hour. So I might do a vintage Star Wars haul for you guys later. Uh, this is one that I, I'll show you one of the Black Series. Uh, the, the Wilson Mask Finn. I love this one. And I actually have this, the, the three quarter inch whatever, the four inch uh, fin as well that I went, I, I bought this this year, earlier this year. But yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna show all of them. 
just too many. Uh, some Lego, I'll show you one of my favorites. It's the Harley Quinn Batman Gotham City Cycle Chase. I'm trying to collect every single DC Comics Lego. Uh, very expensive stuff, but eventually I'll, uh, I'll have a nice uh, set of a Batman Gotham City uh, Lego. So another one of my favorites from 2016. And uh, not really, not considered a toy, but there's a toy in it, so I don't care. This I only show this because this is the, um, the 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 set that I went after. This is the gift set in uh, limited and numbered edition. That's that's the number. Yeah, not too impressive, but anyways, uh, great movie, uh, better book. This book uh, means uh, so much to me. I know it has there's a lot of controversy now around it, but it's. What I like about it has nothing to do with with the controversy. It's just um, well, the first Batman story I read when I was a kid that actually made me say, "Holy shit, this is uh, complex. This is some serious shit." But yeah, anyways, those are my favorite com some of my some of my favorite toys from 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for vintage toy hauls later.